Okay, so I have it. So it started out at 180 degrees. It's a 160 degree Nissan thermostat. I don't see that thing even cracking open. Absolutely no movement whatsoever on that thermostat. So much for a 160 degree thermostat. I wonder what it's going to take to open this thing up. I've got another one, a stamp one here. It's just the one that's recommended for the car, which I think is 100. Well, let's see what's it say. Oh, nice, 195 degree. That's. I went down to the auto parts place that I need a thermostat for a 280Z, and this is what I got. I don't know, maybe 195 is what it's supposed to run. That seems a little hot for me. But this Nissan. Uh, whoops, sorry for the foam on the camera. I mean, the steam on the camera lens. Clearly it didn't open up, so I'm going to, at 160, not even close, not even a smidgen, not even a smidgen of corruption there. So, um, I don't know, I'll heat up again and see what it takes. I'm curious at what, at what temperature will this thing finally open up. One, about 190, it opened up fully. So now I'm curious, does that mean, I mean, I don't know anything about thermostats. Maybe it opens up and maybe it won't close now until it gets to 160. We'll see. I'm just going to let this thing set and keep an eye on it. Again, I'm no expert on these kind of things, so maybe I'm maybe I'm all wet about it. It's supposed to be opening at 160, but it definitely opened up at one. Uh, definitely opened up at one. It was at 190. When I first put it in there, and it just opened right up, and it's wide open now. So I'll keep an eye on it and see how long it stays that way. Again, this is the Nissan. I'll try the, uh, the cheapo stant later and see how it performs. More later. Well, it's almost closed up now. You can't hardly tell that, but I'm just telling you, I can see it's barely see a crack in there. And I'm at about 170 degrees. So it's been closing ever since it hit about just about 180. I noticed it started to shut down. I don't know if it's fully closed now yet, but it's getting pretty close to it. I can't see anything through the, uh, the little crack there in it. So for, I'd say for all intents and purposes, it shuts down at about 170 degrees. So what I'll do now, A, again, I don't know anything about thermostats, so I'm going to cycle this thing through a couple of times and see if it makes any difference. Maybe the first time it gets exposed. I don't know. It's, it's pretty much fully shut down. I'm going to pull it out and take a look. Anyway, we're at 170 degrees here. Let's take a look at this thing. Yeah, it's shut off. It's closed. Okay, so what we're going to do now... I know the stamp will open here, but I'm going to put it in there anyway. Get a good angle on it so I can see what it's doing. Yeah. yeah. It's not opening, of course. It's interesting to look at the difference in these two. I mean, let's just do that while we're, while we're talking about thermostats. Examine the difference in construction. Okay, this is the Nissan original. This is the stamp. Hmm. Well, this looks quite a bit different, actually. They both have this little burp hole. This was the stamp's got this little thing here. I guess it's some kind of a valve that's supposed to uh, prevent flow back or something like that. Maybe it's just for burp. I don't know. I don't know what it's about. Um, I don't know if the holes overall size of it's a little bit different. It's kind of hard to tell, but I would say that the the um, diameter of this is a little bit greater than the diameter of that. I don't know if that matters. I notice this thing sticks down quite a bit more. Let's look at the dimensions of it this way. I don't know what the significance of that is. Anyway, there's a, there's the uh, the Nissan original and the Stat Stant um, replacement, and I know that this one fully opens up at about 185 degrees wide open, and it shuts down at about well, whatever I said it was. I guess about 170 degrees. I noticed it was closing down, was essentially off. So I'm going to conduct the same experiment. I'll heat the water at the 190, and stick that one in there, and see if it opens all the way up, and try to gauge its relative open and closeness compared to uh, water temperatures. More later. Here we go. 
that's reading a little over 190 degrees. Remember that box is 195, so this may do absolutely nothing, but we're going to see anyway. And we go in here. And I'll try to get a look on that, see if I can see it opening at all. This is about as exciting as watching get grass grow or water cool, I guess, but in the interest of science, you have to ask the question, is it a duck? Hmm. I don't think the other thing's going to do anything, frankly. I wouldn't expect it to, since now I'm at 195 and it hasn't moved a bit. And it doesn't seem like it's going to move. So what I'm going to do next is, quickly, hey, I got an idea. Let's do, let's do this. We just saw that one do that one didn't do anything. Now I have you live and on camera. Let me see if I can get this one here ready, set, go. I'm going to keep an eye on this one. Oops, sorry. Actually easier to see it from this angle. Let's see if we can catch that one opening. I mean it should. I'm at 180. I don't see any movement. I don't really understand how these things work. I'm at 180 and ain't going nowhere. The last time I did it, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Do I see movement there? Yes, it's opening. Okay, so this one's clearly opening. If you look carefully, you can see it. that thing's just cracking open now and it's getting bigger. It's going opener now. So. I think the, the jury's out on the I mean, I don't think the jury's out on this. I think uh, the jury's back on this. I'm obviously going to use this one because it's already opened. And the other one hadn't budged yet. So regardless of what these things say, and I, I know maybe I can find one of these. That's the right temperature. The heck with that. Uh, when I go down to the parts store, this is what they give me. I guess I'd have to ask for a different part to find one that would open up where I want it to. But obviously, this one's opening up. And that's what I want at the lower temperature. Now, the big question will be, when I get around to it, is I'll take this one. I'm gonna, when I take the, uh, the old thermostat out, I will obviously do the same test. I'm really curious to compare the old to the new. So, of these two, this guy is not even going to be considered. He's out of the question. It'll be this one will be the one that gets tested against the one that's in there. If the one that's in there, you know, opens more slowly than this, I'm going to put this in because clearly living in the south where temp high temperature is the problem, not cold temperature, I want that thing to open up as quickly as it can. Although I'm not, I'm not going to run without any thermostat. I know some people advocate doing that, but I, you know, it's, it kind of really goes against my, um, my philosophy. I mean, I think what you want to have here is a temperature that comes up and stays at, you know, a constant temperature so that fuel injection will work right because it uses that water temperature center, which I understand is pretty pretty integral to how the whole system works. I mean, that's one of the major sensors on that rather crude EFI. There's no, there's no feedback from the exhaust, so it doesn't really know what it's doing. The only thing the EFI has to go on is input. So, you know, water temperature is this, um, airflow is that, uh, air temperature is this, so boom, pulse width set. Uh, unlike, I think, a more modern EFI where it says, oh, not only does it have all that, but it says, oh, by the way, I've got, uh, you know, this CO2 level or O2 level or whatever in my exhaust, so I can tweak the mixture a little bit more to get it exactly right. There's no feedback like this in this older system. It's essentially walking around, so it's like dead reckoning, you know, just, okay, go here, and if everything's great, it'll be fine. But if you have any other, anything else is going wrong, like, a, you know, then it won't work so well. Okay, it's, uh, it's closed back up again, and it's at 170. So, it did briefly open right around 180. Definitely not 160, so I don't know what the 160 is all about. That ain't happening. But, definitely better than that one, so we'll stick with this one more later. This is interesting. Oh, gosh, the phone, the uh, steam. Uh, the Nissan, man, that thing is wide open. And this one's cracked open, you know, maybe... I don't know how much that is, but I mean, you can look at the difference. Look at that versus that. All right, that alone tells me what thermostat I'm going to be running. There's no question whatsoever. Let's see what the temperature is. I heated this up to the boiling point, so it's probably just a little below it now. But I mean, that 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 poor Nissan thermostat. That thing's trying to do everything it can to get out of its own way. I mean, look at how far that thing has retracted. 
whereas a stat has stand is definitely open, but you know, it just went la di da, and that's at 200 degrees. So bang, man. I mean, if this doesn't tell you to use that thermostat over that thermostat, I don't know what does. And frankly, I'm even, I even think I prefer the the, the larger diameter of the, the Nissan over the stant anyway, because remember we looked at it before, and the diameter of the actual opening is considerably bigger. So when it does release, it's going to flow more too. But I mean, I think that falls under the NUFF SAID uh, comment about which one of these I'm going to use. All right, that's all for now. I don't think I'm, I think I'm done with thermostats.